I thought it would be fun to share with you one of the workouts that is a go-to of mine. I do it twice a week, every week. It's a kettlebell circuit. It involves heavy kettlebell swings. I use a 45 pound kettlebell and uh, also Turkish get-ups. If you've never done a Turkish get-up before, please check out this tutorial. It will take you through it and uh, then you'll be a pro and you'll be able to follow along with me. So when I do this workout, I always use the same warm-up and the same cool-down as well. And uh, it's quick, less than 20 minutes, super effective, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. So without further ado, pick up your lighter kettlebell. My light kettlebell is a 15 pound kettlebell and let's get sweaty. You're gonna keep the kettlebell close to your chest. You're gonna stand with your feet slightly wider than hip distance with your toes slightly turned out and you're gonna come down into just make sure this is on. Yes, it is on. A squat, okay? So come down into a squat, a deep squat, and you're gonna do a movement called, well, I call it scrubbing, where you kind of move your hips from side to side. It's a great way to open up the hips, and uh, yeah, it just feels really good. It's, it's pretty early here, and I'm a little bit stiff. So you're moving around from side to side, and then we're gonna add one biceps curl right here. So make sure your chest is lifted, you do your biceps curl, and then you stand up, okay? And now we're gonna take it back down again. Some scrubbing, and you will have seen this warm up, I posted it before, but uh, I've got a few, few changes to it, okay? Now we're gonna do two biceps curls. So this is the change. I match the number of the rep, stand up, the number of the rep with biceps curls, because we're, we're down to, uh, Rep number three of this squat. So as you can guess, we're gonna be doing three biceps curls. Okay, so here we go. Down and up, one, two, and three, and stand up. We're going for number four. So down, scrub, four biceps curls. One, two, three, four, and up. And number five down and five biceps curls one <clears throat> two three four and five and up and then we're going to flip the kettlebell over okay so flip it over you're holding it upside down we're going to do five halos in each direction so you want to make sure that your hips are stable so really brace the core, squeeze those glutes, keep those hips still while you're moving your upper body around, okay? So here we go. Wrap it all the way around. One, I'm not sure you can really see the whole kettlebell. Two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna change direction. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you're gonna put the kettlebell down. You're gonna come down to the mat. <clears throat> Knees are bent, you're gonna lie flat on your back. And we're gonna do single leg glute bridges. We're gonna do five on each side. So you're gonna lift your hips up, extend one leg, and then come down and lift those hips up. So that's one two, three, four, really squeeze the glutes, five and down and then switch sides. So we come up, we extend and it's down and up. One, two, three, four and five and lower down and rock yourself up. Pick up your kettlebell and we're gonna begin again. So, you're coming down, you're scrubbing, one biceps curl and up and down and scrub, two. That's one and two and up and down, scrub, 
and three biceps curls. One, two, three, and up and down. Oh yes, lots of popping. And four biceps curls, down and up. One, two, three, and four, and up. And number five, down, scrub, open up. Five biceps curls. One, two, three, four, five, and up. Okay, now we're gonna do those halos. So you're holding your kettlebell upside down and you're gonna take it around. One, two, big circles, three, four, five, and change direction. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, put your pet pedal bell, your kettlebell down. You're lying down. You have those single leg glute bridges right here. So lift up, extend, down and up. One, squeeze, two, three, four, five, and lower down and switch sides. Lift up, extend, down and up. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we have one more round, okay? So grab your kettlebell, bring it in, and we go down. Scrub, one biceps curl, and up, and down, and scrub, and two biceps curls, one, two, and up, and down, scrubby, scrubby, and three biceps curls, one, two, three, and up, and down for number four, four biceps curls right here, let's go, one, two, three, four, and up, and last time, scrub, should be feeling pretty warm now, five biceps curls, one, two, three, four, and five, and up, and flip your kettlebell over, five halos, all the way around, one, two, three, four, five, and change direction. One, two, three, four, and five, kettlebell down, glute bridges. And lift up, extend, drop it down. One, two, three, four, five, and lower down. Switch sides, lift up, extend, down and up. Squeeze one, two, three, four, and five and down and just hug your knees in for a second, catch your breath and then make sure that you have no jewelry on your wrists and pick up your heavy kettlebell. This is a heavy kettlebell. You wanna make sure you swing the heaviest kettlebell that you can find. I'm gonna be doing five sets of 10 swings, okay? So I'm setting my kettlebell down a little ways in front of me and uh, feet are just a little bit wider than hip distance, toes are slightly, slightly turned out. I'm gonna hip hinge, grab the horns, engage my lats, brace my core and get ready to hike it, okay? So here I go.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And put it down and recover. So if you're not feeling that, it means your kettlebell is not heavy enough, okay? But it's really important that you remember that the kettlebell swing is a leg movement, okay? Lots of hamstrings, lots of glutes. Your arms are just gonna be hanging there like dental floss, okay? Limp, no energy in those arms, okay? All right, set number two. Hip hinging, reaching, engaging. Brace and hike, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And put it down. All right. Really feeling that. Woo! Did I tell you guys how much I love working with kettlebells? Truly though, I love working with everything, so every tool is gonna be my favorite tool. Medicine ball, gliders, stability ball. Anyway, it's so fun and effective to mix things up. All right, set number three. Brace, engage, and here we go. Hike. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and put it down. Okay, I'm gonna grab a very, very quick <laughs> drink of water. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, set number four. And hike. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah! It's getting harder, I'm getting tired. That's the way it should be. Whew. So if you, need, if you need more rest in between sets, please make sure you pause the video, do whatever you need to do, okay? Remember, these workouts are just tools for you. You make them whatever you need them to be, okay? All right. I've not fully recovered. This is, every recovery is just a partial recovery here. Um, it's definitely still a little bit out of breath. Okay, I'm psyching myself up. You guys ready? I'm not sure I am, but I'm gonna get this last set finished. Okay, let's go. Reach, engage, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that is it for the kettlebell swings. Super simple, right? Okay, so get your heavy kettlebell out of the way. Grab your light kettlebell and let's begin the second and final half of the workout, okay? So it's gonna be five Turkish get-ups on one side and five on the other, okay? So come down to your mat. You're gonna be on your side and 
You've watched the tutorial, so you know what to do, but I will count you through it. We're gonna roll one, reach up, two, eyes on the bell, roll three, up four, through five, windshield wiper, six, and seven. And seven, eyes on the bell, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So the Turkish get up is not super fast, okay? And you, you are allowed to rest a little bit in between. <sighs> allowed. You have permission to do anything you want as long as you do it correctly. Okay, here we go. We're gonna roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. So on the descent, you really need to engage your abs a lot to control it, but I know you're holding something heavy overhead, so it's going to be really tough to control it the whole way. You just do your best. It's always the battle, okay? It's not the outcome, it's the fight. So fight through it. We have three more, so if you're ready, let's go. We're gonna roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we have two more to go. Woo! Full body movement here, this Turkish get up. Everything you're hitting. Okay, let's go roll. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We have one more, one more, one more on this side. <sighs> Okay, last one, here we go. Roll one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, okay. So I'm just gonna make a little adjustment here with my receiver because I'm gonna be, okay. I'm not good with wires and paraphernalia. I'm gonna be on the other side and so will you. So come on down. And let's get ready to roll. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna walk a little further forward. And here we go. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. All right.
How are you guys doing? You need a breather? I'm gonna take three more breaths and then we're gonna go again. One. Two. And three, all right, here we go, roll. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Three more to go. You guys are going to be pros at Turkish get ups by the time you do this workout. And hopefully, it'll become one of your staples as well. <sighs> All right, here we go, roll. One, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And somehow I keep creeping off my mat. All right. <clears throat> I think we have two more. All right, ready? Here we go. Roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we got one more to go. One more, one more. <clears throat> and as soon as you guys find that this is not challenging, make sure you pick up a heavier weight, okay? But not nothing too, too heavy. I mean, you don't want to jump 10 pounds, okay? Five pounds maybe. Ideally, two or three. Ready? Here we go. Roll. Extend. Reach up. Up higher. Through. Kneel. Stand. Reverse lunge. Eyes up. Windshield wiper. Sit through. Elbow. All the way down. Bring it in and roll. Excellent. Now we can cool it down. So get your kettlebell out of the way and, uh, and hit the mat for the stretching, okay? You're gonna wanna make sure that your heels end up on the mat. You're gonna open your legs wide and your heels are gonna end up there. So you wanna probably wanna sit behind your mat, okay? And what you're gonna do is just reach one arm through forward, take the other arm up overhead, and reach as far as you can go, even to your foot if you can. And guys, don't open your legs too wide, okay? That's gonna stretch a different part of your body. Your, your legs don't need to be super wide. This is a side stretch, not a groin stretch. So you're gonna hold the stretch for approximately 20 seconds, or we are gonna hold the stretch for that length of time, and then uh, we're gonna change to the other side, okay? So let's come up and change. Reach, reach that arm as far as you can go. See if you can make it all the way to your toes. Look under your armpit towards the ceiling. Really open up. And we're going to do each of these stretches three times. So come on up, change sides, reach overhead, reach. And change sides all the way over.
And one more time each side. Here we go, reach. Looks like it's a beautiful day today. Probably very cold though, but I will bundle up and I will go for a walk. So even if you work out like this every day or do a structured workout every day, it's always a good idea to go for a walk. It's a great way to clear your mind. And uh, it's a lovely little uh, active recovery for your muscles. Awesome. All right, I'm going to swing this mat around a little bit for this next one. And, um, just so you can see the alignment of my, um, of my legs, okay? So you want to kind of align your shin up parallel with the top of the mat, okay? I'm going to have to take this out. It's going to be cumbersome. So I will put it here. Can someone please invent a, uh, a system of recording that isn't quite so cumbersome, please? Okay, so your shin is in line with the top of the mat and your knee should be as much as it can be in front of your hip. And then same thing for the back leg, except it's the thigh that's parallel to the mat and, uh, and your shin is actually in line with the mat. So, well, on the vertical part of the mat, okay? So what you're gonna do is take your opposite hand to ankle and you're gonna support yourself with your other arm, hand on the floor, and then you're gonna kinda of square your hips and reach forward. So crown of the head forward, and you wanna to try to keep your chest proud, okay? As much as possible. So what I'm saying is try not to round over, okay? So you're leaning forward and we're gonna to try to hold it for about 20 seconds again. And you should really be feeling this in your glute and your hips. This is one of the stretches I think that I can uh, attribute to the relief of my sciatica that I had been suffering with for quite a long time. So strengthening my glutes and making sure that I stretch deeply into the same area has been very helpful. Okay, so rather than resetting everything, we're just going to take a nice deep breath in and then we're going to Hip, hip hinge again and stretch out. So here we go. Okay, come on up. We're going to do this one more time. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna reset on the other side. So just go through it again. Your shin, your front shin is parallel with the edge of the mat, your knees in front of, of your hip. Your back thigh is also parallel to the top of the mat and your shin is along the edge of the mat at a 90 degree angle, okay? And then your opposite hand on your foot, your other hand is supporting you and you're gonna reach forward. Long spine. And don't worry about holding your abdominals in. I want you to just relax. Let the belly go. And come up. And let's go again, take a nice deep breath in. 
and reach. Come up and breathe. Maybe take two breaths, whatever you need to do. Fill yourself up and then exhale and come forward again. And that's it. That's my little go-to kettlebell circuit twice a week, three times a week. If you love it, you can do it every day, but then that means that you want me to do my other videos and I need you to do my other videos. So mix it up, guys. Uh, confuse your muscles so that they, uh, they constantly need to be adapting and uh, it's really good for your brain as well. So thank you for choosing short circuits and for, for supporting me. All of these years, I am heading to 100,000 subscribers, okay? So please, guys, if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you do that. If you like the workouts, like them. That helps to get, the, uh, to get YouTube to share on the suggested list. I really would love, 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 love to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. That would be awesome. So share with a friend, share with two friends, share with 100 friends. I would love that. That's all I'm asking you guys to do. And the other thing I want you to do is to take care of you, okay? So be healthy, be happy, and get sweaty.